Hello everyone, this is Dr. Prashant and welcome back to Public Health Series. In this video, I will be discussing few numerical examples based on study design, measure of association, construction of 2 into 2 table along with the attributable risk. So I took a question from previous year paper. I will just go through it very briefly. In a civil hospital, there are around 500 live births and among those 500, 100 infants had birth weight less than 2.5 kg and they want to study an association between birth weight and infant deaths. So a study design was developed and all 500 infants were followed up for one year. At the end of one year, 24 infants died among 500 and out of 24 deaths, 16 deaths were observed among low birth weight babies. First, we need to identify the study design. Okay, So it was clearly mentioned in the question, a study design was developed where all 500 infants are followed up for one year. So it's a follow-up study also called as cohort study. Next step is the construction of a 2 into 2 table. Further, I have given a basic table that is exposure status, outcome present, outcome absent, total. So, in order to construct a 2 into 2 table, first we need to understand what is exposure and what is outcome. So, in the question, it was clearly mentioned they want to do a study to know the association between birth weight and infant deaths. So, birth weight will be the exposure and infant deaths is the outcome. So, once you know what is exposure, you need to understand in our example or in our question what exactly is exposed or exposure. So in our question, the exposure will be the low birth weight, whereas unexposed or non-exposure will be normal birth weight and the outcome is the infant deaths. Now you replace the terms exposed and unexposed with the terms low birth weight and normal birth weight. Next, you need to start with the values given in the question. Okay, They don't give everything. They don't give all the values of A, B, C and D. They will give few values by using those values we need to find the missing values. So in the question they have given us four values directly. One is 24 infants died among 500 infants. So total infant deaths are 24 that is A plus C. Go to the outcome column C A plus C that is 24. Among these 24 deaths 16 deaths were observed among low birth weight babies. So A will become 16. And they have told 100 infants has the low birth weight. That is A plus B is equal to 100. And we know the total sample, right? They have followed around 500 infants. So A plus B plus C plus D will be 500. So in the first table, we got four values which we extracted it directly from the question itself. Next, you need to find out the missing values by using the values which were given directly in the question. Okay. First, I will start with the total column. Go to the total column and see vertically. Okay. They have given A plus B as 100 and A plus B plus C plus D is 500. So to get C plus D, we just need to subtract 100 from 500. So 500 minus 100 will be 400. Similarly, in the outcome column, 24 minus 16 will be the value of C, that is 8. After doing this, we need to calculate the values of B and D. So in order to calculate B and D, we need to look horizontally, right? So go to the low birth weight section. And see the total low birth weight count is 100 and the outcome present is 16. So to get B, we need to subtract 16 from 100. So 100 minus 16 will be 84. And similarly, for normal weight, 400 minus 8 will be 392. And for total, it will be 500 minus 24, that is 476. Also, you can do it in other way, that is B plus D. 84 plus 392 will also give you 476. So after calculating all the values, you need to cross check again. Okay. So by doing this, you can minimize your errors. So we use the same table and the same way of constructing for case control also. But in case control studies, we use the terms cases. Cases are those who are having the disease and controls who are free from disease. But the basic structure and filling the table is similar to that of cohort study. And now after constructing the table, one most important thing is the measure of association. As this is a cohort study, the measure of association in cohort study is relate to risk, that is RR. Whereas in case control studies, the measure of association is odds ratio. Relative risk is nothing but the incidence risk in exposed population divided by incidence risk in unexposed population. So in terms of formula, incidence in exposed is equal to A by A plus B, okay, horizontally. Similarly, incidence in non-exposed is equal to C by C plus D. So in order to get RR, we need to divide A by A plus B divided by C by C plus D. So these are the values which we got in construction of 2 into 2 table. So just substitute it in the formula. A by A plus B will be 16 by 16 plus 84 that is 100 divided by C by C plus D. 8 by 8 plus 392 that is 8 by 400. So if you calculate this, you will get the relative risk as 8. 
coming to the fourth step that is calculation of attributable risk and attributable fraction first we will start with ar that is attributable risk the formula is risk in exposed minus risk in unexposed that is re minus ru if you want to express this in proportion we use the term attributable fraction so the formula is we need to divide ar that is attributable risk by risk in exposed again so in terms of formula re minus ru divided by re again so if you want to get af in terms of relative risk we have a different formula that is rr minus 1 divided by rr so let's see what exactly these terms are incidence in exposed we already know that is a by a plus b 16 by 100 that is 0.16 incidence in non exposed is the c by c plus d that is 8 by 400 that is equal to 0.02 and we also calculated rr right in the previous step that is a by a plus b divided by c by c plus d so 0.16 divided by 0.02 is equal to 8 so now we got all the values we'll just substitute it in the formula of ar so ar is nothing but re minus ru risk in exposed minus risk in unexposed risk in exposed is 0.16 minus 0.02 that is risk in unexposed so the answer is around 0.14 if you want to express this in terms of proportion we use the term attributable fraction and the formula is we need to divide ar that is attributable risk by risk in exposed again so it will be ar we know that is 0.14 we need to divide it by 0.16 that is risk in exposed room so if you do the calculation you will get around 88% or if you want to do using relative risk we have already calculated rr right we got rr as 8 So R R minus one, that is eight minus one, is seven divided by relative risk, that is eight. Seven by eight is also equal to eighty-seven point five percent. So you can calculate in either way. So one tip I can suggest is to always be thorough with the basics. What is case control? What is cohort? And what is the measure of association used in a particular study? And then start understanding the terms exposure and outcome. Okay. Once you know what is exposure and what is outcome, then you can easily start constructing the table and first try to extract the values which were given directly in the question. Okay, so by using those values, then try to find the missing values. So after you construct the table, always cross check the values. Okay, always check the horizontal and vertical boxes and check the totals. So after doing that, you just need to recollect the formulas and just substitute these values in the formulas. I hope this is helpful. Thank you.